And for the investment appraisal methods, consider all of the cash flows for each investment opportunity. Make some logical allowances for the timing of those cash flows. Let's say I invest 1 million in a project now and then I get 1.5 million over the life of the project, which say is five years. And which one is better? 1 million now or 1.5 million over the five years time? Not after five years, but you get some now in year one, in year two, and in year three, and year four, and year five. Which one is better? NPV can actually tell us which one is better. NPV, all of these uh, uh, investment appraisal techniques, they actually uh, take away the the time value effect and they take into account cost of capital now strange thing is the cost of capital for all of us is different in this classroom yeah we all have a different risk profile that's how that's how unique humans are that uh, and that's how the capitalistic economy stock markets that's how they work because we all have a different risk profile the rule is very simple. As I said, uh, NPV gives you a black and white answer. Yes, no. If the NPV net present value, well, what is net present value? Let's just understand it. In present, I spend 1 million. Now I have some negative, which I invested now. It went out of my pocket, so it's negative. In future, I make 1.5 million. I brought that future monies to the present money. And then those monies which I received in future, they're all positive. So I got negative, positive together. I net them, netting off, and I get a figure. So that becomes net present value. So if net present value is positive, we should accept the project. And if it's negative, then we should reject the project. However, although this is the main guiding principle, in some scenarios, our final decision could be different. Money loses value just like we have learned that uh, 100 pound now is better than 110 pound in future. This is an actual example. If the cost of capital is 20%, then value of one pound would be uh, reducing like this every year. So you invest one pound now in 10 years time, it's going to be equal to around 11, 12 pound. We, we can actually calculate that. And after we do some of our exercises, you can actually come back and calculate that uh, what is the value of one pound after so many years. Discounting is an exercise where you will bring the future money into today's money and then compare it. So I receive 110 pound in a year time. Let's bring it now, present money. So future money received and you, you bring it uh, to present and compare it. So while you bring it to present, it's going to lose some of its worth. Our number is going to go down. So 110 would become less when you bring it to present. That is the concept of discounting. The compound interest is you invest 100 pound in the bank. After a year, you get 10 pound interest on that. That's become 110. You leave that 10 pound, extra 10 pound in the bank. Next year, your bank gives you 11 pound. So now, after two years, 24 months, your money becomes 121. Yeah, after one year, it's 110. After two years, 131. That is compound interest. Yeah. So you get interest on interest as well. Not just the principal, but the interest. And you can only make a good decision after discounting uh, the future cash flows. And that's what NPV does. Numerical exercise is the job of accountant. But decision making is the job of uh, managers and that's what managers need to be aware of when they're making decisions. So NPV and other appraisal techniques recommend a decision by taking into account the financial factors only. However, pastel factors must be considered. Pastel stands for political, economical, social, technological, legal, and environmental factors. Market environment and the level of demand, internal organizational environment. Uh, for example, if we are ready to take another challenge, if we can actually, if our staff can actually take that much risk, or we, uh, do we have enough skills within the organizations to do certain things, 
cultures and cap capability, which is a very much similar uh, point, and risk and uncertainty of the project. At the end of the day, the, the day, the risk is about your gut feeling. What does your guts tell you?